We are also tracking a very powerful hurricane. Uh, hurricane Ian is set to make landfall coming up uh, in just a few hours here on the southwest Florida coast. We're seeing winds right now sustained at 155 miles an hour. That's a very strong category for a borderline category five hurricane. Uh, incredibly strong and you can see this area right here all under hurricane warning. The orange areas are all under tropical storm warnings. This powerful storm set to make landfall soon. We'll have more on this coming up. All right, Brian, and that's where we begin our live team coverage. In fact, this morning we mentioned Brian is tracking that system as it closes in on Florida's Gulf Coast. Fox 13's John Hopperstad is standing by in Fife, learning how locals are helping bring relief to those areas that will be hit hardest. But we do start with reporter Lauren Blanchard live in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Lauren, what does it feel like out there? How has it changed since you got there? Well, Maria, Brian, at this hour, we are getting some rain, but it's really uh, tonight that this area is going to get the worst of this storm. Uh, you know, as we have been watching it, um, the winds still pretty light, but they are expected to pick up quite a bit. As we were mentioning, this is now a category four hurricane maximum sustained winds of 155 miles an hour, more than 200 miles of coastline here on Western in Western Florida is under some sort of hurricane warning. The eye of Hurricane Ian is moving closer to Florida. In the southern part of the state, thousands already without power and tornadoes with damage have been reported near Miami and Boca Raton. It already devastated parts of Cuba as a Category 3 hurricane, knocking out power to the entire island. I'm just hoping and praying. I'm scared. I'm scared for our property here. The storm is expected to get even stronger as it approaches the west coast of Florida, where 2.5 million people have been told to evacuate. Florida's governor said more than 170 shelters have been opened. If you live in an evacuation zone, you need to be leaving. If, if you have been asked to evacuate, you need to leave. Landfall is expected later this evening near Cape Coral. Millions are expected to lose power as Ian rips across the state. 30,000 personnel are already standing by to help get the lights back on. People who haven't evacuated, boarding up windows and putting out sandbags. When you talk about 10 to 15 foot uh, surges, that should get everyone's attention. No one is safe from that. And just moments ago, Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis held the latest press conference. He said at this point, a lot of people have evacuated away from some of these areas that are expected to get hit pretty hard, but not everyone did. So Brian Maria, at this hour, they are warning people, if you have not evacuated, um, hunker down. If you are in a low-lying area, do try to get somewhere higher because one of the biggest risks of this storm is going to be that flooding and that storm surge. Yeah, certainly looking like to be a devastating storm. Lauren, stay safe. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. Thank you.